check in the fuel tank level sender in the back of this BMW looks totally different than what I would imagine. I don't have a 5 volt signal on one wire. <clears throat> okay, 510 about 12 volts. Probably about battery voltage actually, and just below the line here. So it's about battery voltage pulsed down very quickly. lead I'm using for the power is the green, so that's in the, the black and red, and the brown one is the ground. I get pulsed there, I plug it in. This is the driver's side, or the right hand side. And that's like 5 volts per division, so that's about 2 volts, 3 volts. Getting pulsed very quickly, 5 milliseconds per division. Strange signal. So you don't get a permanent 5 volts, you get full voltage. So now what I need to do is check the resistance. Now I've changed this to checking the ohms. So empty tank is 50 ohms. I'm going to check the full tank, or not the full tank, but the tank that said it's got 4 gallons in it. This is the driver's side, this is the right hand side, the tank that has the fuel pump as well. These load pro leads make it easy just to go on the top of the pins without them slipping off. Uh, I think the other side, the left hand side was 50 ohms and this side's 400 kilo ohms. So it's about 100 kilo ohms. Nah. 0.4, 400 ohms, I must read that. Okay, now I've got the sensor simulator connected. And I'm getting about 1 volt per division, so that's nearly 2 volts on this, on the scan tool. So I can double check and see what the ohms are in here to see what's going on. I could change the ohms on this scale down here and see if this changes. It does. It has a direct change to the height of that. So as I lift it up there's only going to be so much a range of this variable resistor that I'm turning. So is that, if I turn that up as much as I can to there, let's go and see if the scan tool's changed. Okay, it hasn't changed, but I may need to start the car. Yeah, look at that. 5.8 gallons, so that's gone up. The fuel gauge is going up. Right, 5.8, nearly 6 gallons, well, 5.5 gallons, and I've maxed out the scale on this, it's 1 volt per division, can't see the top of it, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 3 and a bit volts. And I change the... What, what am I at here? So I'm on the low setting, which is the outside one. 7,000 volt, uh, 7,000 ohms, I mean. Let's turn that right down. We're not getting a change up here. Oh, there we go. It's changed it. It's a bit of a delay. And that's gone down there on that. So you don't get you don't get five volts on a ground and then the five volts goes down depending on the resistance. It's twelve volts and it goes down, it's pulsed 
and it goes down depending on the resistance in the same way, but it's 12 volts instead of 5 and it's pulsed instead of on all the time. And it only refreshes if the engine's running, I don't know if it'll do it just the ignition. I'm going to have to take the top off the tank, left hand side, see if there's actually any fuel in it, and then I could work, send it up and down and see if the resistance changes.